Hi, this is Frank A. Thomas, and I am discussing the history of African American preaching. And I want now to discuss in particularly, and I want to discuss now particularly the history of the preaching of black women in this tradition and the preaching of womanists. Most of the history of the African American church the church subordinated women in their clergy ministry roles, forbidding their ordination and refusing to select them as pastors. A convenient divot into which women could be placed was to preach, teach, and lead revivals under the title of evangelists, not preachers, not pastors, but evangelists. Many foremothers of African-American preaching, Jarena Lee, Zilpa L. Law, Julia A. Foote, Maria Stewart, Sojourner Truth, and a myriad of gifted women have labored under and in spite of this tragic and exclusionary oppression of women as preachers. Given this virtual and visible reality of African-American clergy women in the church, it would not be surprising to find small amounts of critical attention given to the homiletic theory and methods of African-American women. You can find some of this in this book I mentioned earlier, Preaching with Sacred Fire, the Anthology of African-American Preaching. Only in the last 40 years has consideration been given to the homiletic of African-American women, primarily by African-American women. The start of the study of the homiletics of African-American women begins in the Theological Academy but outside of the field of homiletics. The term womanism was first coined by author Alice Walker in a book in search of our mother's gardens, womanist prose. She explains that the term womanist is derived from the Southern folk expression of mothers to female children acting womanish. In other words, acting like a woman. The term is a metaphor for black women being responsible, in charge, serious, and fully grown. At its core, womanism addresses the realities and everyday concerns, issues, and experiences of black women and argues that black women have a right to view the Bible from the, their own experience and express it and preach it and teach it and live it as they see it. Womanism issues a distinct challenge for inclusion to dominant male and female white theological approaches as well as black theology and African-American male scholars, homiletical and otherwise. In other words, womanism challenges the dominant male and female white theological approaches and also challenges us African-American males to be more inclusive. Key figures in womanism have been Jacqueline Grant, Katie Cannon, several others. I can't list them all, but on the bibliography that you'll be able to download, you'll be able to see many there. Also in Preaching as Sacred Fire, an anthology of African-American preaching, we give much more detail about African-American women preachers, historically and present, as well as womanists. So this is part of our history, an important part of our history, a too often overlooked part of our history, but a vital, significant, and important part of our history. And I am proud to present this video on the history of the African-American preaching tradition. Thanks so much. See you next week. And please don't forget that each and every Monday we do a Periscope live broadcast, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Twice a week we release videos in this series on African-American preaching. And finally, each and every week we upload spiritual vitamins to SoundCloud. We want to make sure that you will subscribe to each of these platforms. And I know you want to get as fast as you can this powerful information that's coming forth. So sign up. God bless you. And thank you so much for watching.